Caddis Maximus here. This is kind of a just a quick and quirky kind of review of these riser bond instruments cable decoders and these are definitely older riser bond is a company that's still around and they make very expensive very complicated uh, cable diagnostic instruments so these are a basic type of two-piece system they have a coaxial cable connector on them as I said these are definitely uh, much older units probably from the 90s or something like that and what they do is, this is for a situation, say you're a cable, back in the days, cable TV uh, repair person or installer. Maybe you're installing uh, security cameras for commercial uh, buildings, that type of stuff, or retrofitting. And what these are is they just allow you to take a tangle of cables that you may have like a control room or something. Or say the apartment building with the cable TV, you'll have like a block where there are just all these wires going through. And if they go through any interior portion of the building, you may not know, or a hotel for that matter, exactly which room, uh, which cable is associated with. And so this is what these boxes are designed for. It has a transmitter and it has a special kind of switch. So this is an electrical switch that is associated with a number. So each time you go through a number on this, it changes the electrical connection and that's synchronized with this box here so it'll display the numbers so if we have for instance the number two here it'll display it on this uh, receiver box so if you have an unknown uh, number what you might do is go to hotel room one plug this into a cable and you can you know just get adapters like this to plug it into uh, coaxial cable TV if we can get that to focus and then you just go to the, the wherever, like the main you know control room or wherever the block of wires is coming through, and you just periodically plug in each wire until you got this to uh, display. So let me uh, set that up. All it really is is just turning on these units here. I'll turn off the light in a second to get you to see better. We have a link cable, and you can get all sorts of adapters. So this would work with any form of coaxial cable. And let me turn that off because you can't see it. So there's our blinking light. We know it's not working. And we know it's not, the, the blinking means no connection. And as soon as you connect, uh, it will stay at the predetermined number or excuse me, the transmitted number. And as you click through each one, it just synchronizes it like so. So it's actually pretty handy. So once you have each wire, you know that, you know, that's wire number six or that's wire number four, uh, et cetera. So it is a pretty handy instrument. And so I thought I'd just do a quick little review, just kind of showing what, you know, and you run into these maybe at an electronics recycling store. There are uh, many colleges and universities which have surplus stores, and you should look in your area. That's kind of a, one of the secrets. Uh, in the state that I live in, only a couple do, but they periodically some amazing things show up. This was a few years ago, but at one of those uh uh, it was actually a university surplus store. They had a scanning microscope. No joke. It was expensive even at a university surplus. But that's where I picked these up. And it was just kind of interesting because I recognized uh, from uh, a friend uh, about Riser Bond and how they actually are still around. And they make just multi-thousand dollar cable diagnostic systems which come in big Pelican cases, but they're also all computerized. And so it was just kind of interesting to find a basic kind of very old uh, test kit from a company that now makes very expensive, just commercial grade or app, um, you know, it isn't just professional grade. This would be what the type of equipment that corporations buy to diagnose DSL lines and that type of stuff. And what modern day, cable, you know, Comcast cable TV technicians have. Systems that would be able to diagnose, diagnose noise and all sorts of stuff where this is just something that allows you to sort out a tangle of ca cables that are in two different locations where you can't see where one cable, uh, how it leads to uh, its output. And so, you know, if you, <laughs> these were more common very long time ago with like old computer networks, 10 base T. But surprisingly enough, with a lot of uh, video camera systems, they still go through the, the video signal still transmitted through the same coaxial wire. 
And so these would still be valid. And obviously, once again, with the cable TV system. So I thought they were kind of uh, just a neat little box. And these are the type of things, uh, a cable designator, where uh, you wouldn't really know what it is. And you think they'd be kind of a couple of useless things. But I could think of a few situations where these would be handy because they could also be used in an automotive situation. Splitting up one of these wires in a car, the body is grounded. So you disconnect the shell, the ground, to the body of a car. And then you can go through, and if you had some wiring issues, then you could just use this to help sort it out. Although that is a stretch of, for the use of this. There are other kind of older wire tracing tools that are a little bit better, and I probably will review one of those soon. But just wanted to put that out there because th these type of companies here that really make just, you know, almost exclusively... Uh, commercial grade equipment and not consumer grade a lot of the average people will have just never heard of them there's countless companies that make totally amazing grade uh, top-notch products but you never hear of them because they're never the kind of thing that any normal individual people would ever own it's only stuff that corporations buy to uh, as part of their business and so it's always neat to find anything made by riser bond that actually still works and before I forget to mention, this was just a, an extension cable. You can get all sorts of uh, adapters. I did show the coaxial to these. But there are like some probe type things where you can just hook a ground wire up to the shell and then be able to use a probe. Um, and then these are just adapters that you might use with this cable so that you can just plug this cable into one of these units then actually be able to have alligator clips on it or have these type of uh, pinch clips. So once again, just having a few different styles of uh, connectors for some of these tools can actually uh, really expand the uh, various possibilities of use. So anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.